Hey guys, <clears throat> and we are back with the kit, but this is the finished kit. I'm going to be putting it together in the video for the, in the final reveal video. So let's get started. Lucky enough, I'll, I have things pre-assembled for the most part, so it's my life. A little bit easier. Ooh, blue tack. <clears throat> Stuck to mono eye. So that's just kind of get rid of that. Just tap me, there we go. And like that, we have. Turn the light on. There we go. That mono eye is more refined. So we'll take mask and put that in. Ah, it's a bit tight because of the paint. But I think that looks pretty good like that. I mean, again, original color plans got messed up with um, things. The drone's already put together here. That's pretty good. I mean, look at a close look of everything when everything's put together. Anyways. <clears throat> really should scratch off the paint off said pieces, really. Sticker decal, like crap. Well, more likely, I did a crap job of putting them on. Let's see if they're going to. Again, we. One joint's a bit loose on the leg. Here's the shield. And you see I painted up Turning up the details. All right. Uh, I 
guess I'll have to use that one for the wings. I didn't think about that. Now that it's assembled here, I'm gonna get it on the turntable. You can see it's completed. Now, I mainly was using this kit as a test piece for, for testing things out, so it's not perfect. Because I was trying something out. But I still like how it came out. Again, the colors I wish could have been better. Like I, I could have done the original colors I wanted to, which were the blue. But the paint I was using just didn't wasn't wanting to play nice, sadly. So I had to change it up. But again, I think it actually looks pretty good like this way. But what we have, let me move. You can see like, the markings, zero, one, on the shoulder, on the leg, and then on the shield, technically you're supposed to put the bigger numbers on the chest, but I like to screw that, since I'm not using the original, the standard armor, I figured put it in the shield. I think it looks, it looks pretty cool. I mean, I kind of wish I put a little bit of blue actually on the feet, the legs, and feet, and the arms, but, eh. I wasn't sure how, well, that, and I do have to say, I do love how the drawing came out. Let it focus. There we go. Just kind of putting the detail up. Drill out the freaking little barrel on it, on that. I wasn't sure what it was originally. If it was, if I was turn this into a camera up above, and then turn this into a gun barrel. Paint at this part. Uh, gray to bring in a good color and then paint it right back here as well silver and bottom the one ring around it is gray as well the gun has been modified instead of being the four barrel Gatling gun that it originally was what happened is I was going, I was trying to drill out the barrels, but the barrels are just so tiny I didn't have small enough drill, so I ended up ruining the, the barrels. <clears throat> Instead of trying to, you know, cutting, I tried first cutting some runners apart, making some new barrels, uh, so, you know, a bit bigger, like, barrel heads to go over it to make it look better, but that wasn't really coming to well, out very well either for my first attempt at trying to do that. So I got the idea, just cut the barrels off, sand it around, and then open the center and turn it into a high uh, pulse uh, beam gun. And so, that's what I did. And of course, I painted detail, added detail, like on the shield. I went with blue for the shield part here, then the claws here, the red claws, those silver. Then the round part, which is technically another shield from another armor set, the ranged armor set, and uh, you throw this part on top of that for the, the, the close combat shield. And I added that ring gray, leaving it black. Now I could have done and put some more gray, some gray in the back as well, but I just didn't do that. Nah. Again, I still think it looks pretty good. Actually, we can... We can then... See the detail paintings. Actually, let me... Take it. Sorry about that. As you can see, paintwork wasn't the best. 
on it. But again, I was testing things out, mainly trying new things. Still quite happy about that. I love how the mono eye looks in there with the paint, the detail painting around it. And then the chest armor piece as well. I could have added some more color there as well. And then, let me see if I can get to the other side here. The added detail on top of the head, the KD commander fin, and then the two uh, black parts there are added. Now, none of this is panel washed because such dark colors and I didn't have the proper colors to make a light a wash. Uh, right there, the bit got mucked up on the arm a bit there. Oh well. Again, paintwork is not perfect on this kit whatsoever. But this was a test piece for trying some new, trying some new things out as well as testing Vallejo uh, primer. And I still, my answer, my question it was um, enamels. Still have uh, haven't got my answer yet, so I'm gonna be testing that. But I'm gonna be just doing that in spoons instead and buying some proper good primer to use for now on until I can figure out what's going up with the primer. But yeah, sorry about that. But that is the uh, 30 Man Mission Porta Nova kit and uh, custom paint colors of customization. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Next project will be, I don't know what the next project exactly will be because I have three projects, technically four, there that I have been started. We have the uh, Astray 2nd L, or Astray Blue Frame Revise, is a um, diagram I want to, uh, well not diagram, vignette I want to do. I need to buy the vignette supplies for that, and also I still need to figure out the paint job colors I want to do for it. If I want to do, just make it a blue frame, or do I want to do a custom frame color. And then there is machining Krieger kits that I have to do. I have two of those. That came in one box. I got to paint those. Those are all primed up and ready, I'm just waiting for paint. And then there is the Muvlov kit as well. Well, that I need to do detail painting on that. That would probably be next. But then I'm also working on some homemade weapons that I'm basically also testing. I'm trying to work the kinks out with this stuff here. I also have. This is uh, up here white. Where's my white gray? Where is my? Where is the primer? Off white. I hear this. No, I'm, yeah. I also have uh, their mecha primer as well, which is supposed to be really scratch resistant and stuff. So I might not be doing things right. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm working on trying to figure things out. As fast and as quickly as I can without too much hassle. So I have those I'm working on as well. As well as uh, I'm still painting miniatures. Working on painting miniatures. I actually do have... Wait, actually... I got that big D and D miniature I need to paint, which fell down. I need to pick that up. But yeah, until so, oh, I'm going to have to say this as a usual. But if you really enjoyed my content and the reveal of the finished kit here, it was like technically a test piece kit for trying some new things and stuff. Uh, hit the like button down below. Also, leave a comment, and I'll answer it and read it, of course. If I can. And also share my video. It helps me immensely to really get uh, more people to see and finding my channel. 
as well. You can also check out my uh, Instagram and my Twitter. Or I'll just go to my profile, my uh, YouTube profile page, and then there's links to get to both of those right there. But yeah, till then, I'll see you guys next time.